Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Monday. It's ladder leverage day. It's I'm sitting on the couch playing Gwent with Mr. Minuanu. How are we doing today, sir? Hi everyone. Glad to be here. Thanks for inviting me. I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. Cheers, brother. Um, so you did the write up for this. Is the currently the champ on the TLG um, Meta Snapshot Tier One Ursine Ritual? Um, unfortunately, it didn't. Uh, carry Mr. Spivey to the the next uh, level here in the qualifier, but uh, really, really good deck. Um, yeah, he, he put up a great fight. Oh, sure. yeah. Yeah, it, super, super unfortunate draws on his part, man. Uh, we, we, we love Mr. Spivey, man. He's a, he's a hell of a competitor. Um, but uh, going through the cards, you know, I mean, you've probably seen this list a decent amount. Um, you know... Some of the cards that really seem to shine or can really get you a lot of points, you know, Turg V. Um, some big tar what are some big targets for this and why do you put it in there? Um, so Turg V is basically like a value card. Like it comes at a five for ten, so it means that if it hits like a six or a seven, it's already playing for great value in round one, even before it gets the veteran buffs. It's basically just a option to like use as a reach card when you're like behind so you just threaten reach with turn beat or like you just use it as a point slam option when your opponent plays a unit with high base strength which is actually not that rare in this meta yeah yeah and i mean it too it, it makes you it, it it has that uh skill check does your opponent have the um, purify, purify or the shield you know if they can put a shield on it too you yeah. got to be careful of that uh, so watch for that in a nerf guard matchup. Don't think, oh, I got I got this one easy, and they pop a shield on it, and this didn't do anything. Um, right. Most of your points, though, you just want to try to you know get your location and um, you know surround it by the bear witchers or blue boy. You might get a couple extra pings um, if you use the location. Sometimes you can even use the quartermaster to get a couple extra pings out of it. Maybe kill something. It's really important to actually be familiar with the options that location puts at your disposal. Many, almost every single person that I've seen play this deck almost like uh, always goes for the Barbisher option. Oh, the Mentor can go target. nuts, man. On a last say, yeah, you could. Mentor, exactly, exactly. Yeah, if you get a bunch of damaged always. units with your uh, Hunter, you can. Uh, it's yeah, it's something that you need to keep in mind in Mirrors as well, because in Mirrors it is widely considered that Morkvark is a trash card, because your opponent isn't going to be boosting. But if you use your Morkvark without any heat to the Hern Kaduk, then your opponent might like opt to go for a like, massive Mentor, and you have nothing to do with like, the Mentor. So you might actually lose games off of that. Yeah, and I mean, like the rest of the deck, I mean, it plays pretty much similar to... Um... Patricidal Fury, but you've got the Ursine Ritual, and you know, I mean, the only bricks you got to worry about are the series, and possibly brick in your raiding fleet. You can also, too, maybe brick Vobjorn, you know, but... It's I'll, very rare that you brick Vobjorn, though. Yeah, because yeah, you, you do have, what, f four raiding cards in here? One, uh, two, three, and thing is four, and so yeah, four. Yeah, so, yeah, it's pretty hard to, but, I mean, it's still something you want to be aware of because you, if you play a two-point card, you're going to seriously cry. <laughs> and you just gave your opponent a uh, Blood Eagle target. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, be aware of that. But um, uh, do you know if there's anything else new coming from the website, Mr. Minuano? Anything new coming from the website? I mean, what Up and coming. Some? Oh right! I mean, we have we have TLG TV coming up, uh, so like I, I believe it's already kickstarted. But we have some delicious content coming up for the TLG TV. You can check it out on the website if you head over there. There's like a yeah TLG dot TV or TLG dot GG, and then you can TLG dot GG is a slash TV if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but yeah, there's there's like a page on the uh, navigation bar on the website where you can check out the new stuff that we're going to be bringing out with the TLG TV, so that should be pretty cool. And then uh, we got the podcast coming too, this vinyl podcast which should be oh, right, highly, right, right. highly entertaining. <laughs> Get Mr. Uh, Gravish a, uh, 
a, oh, a yeah, microphone and, <laughs> and, a, and a platform to rant and grab your popcorn, folks. <laughs> can't wait, can't wait. Yeah, but uh, here's a couple games, and then we'll have a blooper game uh, later on in the week against our, a clogger friend. Um, once again, Mr. Minowanu, thank you for taking the time to record. Um, thank you for having me. Great to be here. Absolutely. And uh, thank you guys, man, so much for everything, man. Cheers. You guys have been fantastic. Um, I can't say enough good things about you. I'll even see if I can get my dog over here. So Meme can say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a couple games, guys. We'll see you at the end. <laughs> you watch. Oh, it's locked down. So okay, it's, I mean, it's, it's the bad, but it's not Kelly. And what's with these blue coins, man? I'm just a blue coin You're magnet actually, today. Your favorite, your favorite on blue coin, I guess. Uh, so we yeah, drop the shield. Same as usual. Just drop the shield maiden, but if you hit Ceres, you keep Ceres because you actually want to thin it out this round if you can. Yeah, drop the wall of clowns. It's worthless. And, and the it. fleet. And yeah, one of these. Okay. I mean, this is not ideal, but we'll try our best. So, we don't have Blood Eagle in hand, which leads me to say that we actually want the Raider to get locked and not the ship. So we would play the Raider first, that week. If we had, if we had uh, Women, children, Blood Eagle though, we would, we would go the other way around because the Raider can actually set it up. Right. It's really difficult for us to set up Bloody on this matchup. We have two very good. Oh, sh okay, yeah, I didn't even consider that. People are still playing this garbage. Yeah, <laughs> this is bad. So now we um, long ship and TA it. Um, actually, long ships are pretty valuable in this matchup because of Cold Grim. Oh yeah, so, we might get the freebie, huh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not exactly a freebie has, like, 13-point mentors, but yeah. Um, what else do we play, though? This hand, holy crap. We just... <laughs> yeah, but he's gonna clog us with these. Yeah, that's true. I guess we could turn V this. Yeah, but he has a thorny just. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can just play the ship and see what happens. We'll play the ship and skull it. Definitely skull it. I need the three, the roach, the roach. Yeah. It's not bad. I mean, if he gives us more of these, these aren't like. Oh shit. Oh, we oh, can lock it, it though. Oh, right, right, we have Jenga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great. Wait, we don't. Do we have the Jenga? Oh man, if we had got the thing slash it. Oh man. This is such a waste of a Jenge. Yeah, there's no other way oh, around it. Oh, man. This is so sad. Yeah, I mean, we have to. We're, we're going to lose on even play to the Play to the right of the ship. Here? Yeah, yeah. You don't want to give him any assassinate value on the ship if possible. Now he's going to keep uh, clogging you with raiders. I would imagine, because giving us more ships is bad for him. Yeah, the, there's the Tony Joust. Good thing we didn't get dated by the Turkey. And yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna. Um, we can play the Blue Boy here. We can, he can't clog us with Blue Boy because it's terrible, obviously. Uh, but don't play back row, just row stack. You don't want to give him a Sesame Ball, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter, matter. just somewhere in the front. His deck doesn't have any um, white punish. Or roll punish, rather. Uh, if he plays the second joust here, we're in business. I'm guessing he's fishing for a coated weapons, though. Right? Oh, assassinate, okay. I mean, assassinate doesn't kill that. What? That was that was that was that was so horribly played. <laughs> so he wants to get more of these. Is... Get more of? How do you mean? Like uh, he wants to coup this. Q 
coup this. He doesn't want coup. Oh, that's right. That's right. So, um, do we turn V now? But he has. He could have another just. I mean. So it's either I mean, this. No, no, I think I think he actually passed on this. You want as long of a round as possible right before getting clocked to oblivion. You know what I mean? Like, right. He hasn't clogged you. Any he didn't time, thin so. really well either. I mean, he got his roach out, and he gave us. So basically, the only lose condition is us not drawing our golds. Basically, what is he going to give us? That's fine. It's nothing and he doesn't get ahead. What is? Oh well, my god! What am I watching? What am I watching? Oh, please give us the the boat. Yeah, we don't need the boat. We need the gold, man. <laughs> oh, that'll That's work. a gold. Okay, we need, we need bloody gold too. Yeah, I keep that for sure. Well, there's the That's boat. boat. So I which one do we want? Happens. The raider, huh? The war the warrior. The more, uh, yeah, the warrior, yeah. Mm. Okay, that's bad. Yeah, I don't I don't think this hand wins, but we'll, we'll try. We didn't draw Grimace, that's well, yeah, exactly. He gets to do this. If he if he had Grimace, he would have lost. Well we just not, not, Mork Varg it, right? Yeah, you Mork Varg this, but what are you gonna do to the cold grim? We get it on the boat. And he has a coated weapon. It delays it Unless, then, right? Uh, yeah, it delays it by one turn. Yeah, I mean that's that's a good idea. We got, like, I think we immediately more clock this because I don't think we're ever getting get rid of more clock because he can just play everything behind his defender. Even if we do somehow deal with this Corbin, I don't think we can beat his mentors. Mentors gonna be like twelve points apiece. Because we didn't draw our blood eagle or serious. Right. Uh, overall, kind of unfortunate. Do we even have a warrior in the graveyard? I think yeah, we, we got the. Ah, uh, I mean that's that's very smart, right? Clog us with the white <laughs> right. We could actually pull that if we had it. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm actually getting kind of infuriated here. Um, we can. Uh, has he played any coded weapons yet? Can you check his grave? No, he hasn't. He has not. Okay. So we have to absolutely uh, make sure that he plays a coded weapon. So you just play a Marauder here and then play the um, Raider in between. So he has to play a coded weapon to kill it. So we're Marauder, playing this, right? Row stack. Yeah, yeah, row stack though. Yeah. We're basically making sure that he has to coded weapons to kill the raider. Hopefully the bait works. And hopefully raiding fleet goes through, otherwise we don't have a win condition. No. And now you play the raider in between the two. Now he can't assassinate it. He has the coded weapon if he wants to get rid of it. Very corpses? Nay, feed our folks to the crabs while they still live. It's adrenaline 2, right? The cold room? Yep, he did it. Okay, there it is. He took the bait, alright. So now we herald? We herald for another one, yeah. He, he still can't play it though, just to make sure. He still can't play it, right? No, it's... Well, it's 3, right? So it's we have to... It's 2, cold room, no? Cold room's 3, isn't he? Because he goes for... Is, is he 2 or 3? <laughs> let, me, let me check real quick. <laughs> yeah, let me... I mean, yeah, we have to check this one. We have time, we have time, yeah. Um, cool, Grim. Yeah, Adrenaline 2, okay, we're fine. So one more, so we yeah, play Herald. Yeah, 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 play the Herald, and make sure you put the thingy in between the two units, so he has to code it up and again. Oh, away those with your if he takes this bait as well, we might actually have a shot. It's, it's kind of crazy, right, because we're card up, you know, round 2 and... He's still probably gonna win because the stick is kind of dumb. Yep. Well, there it yeah, is. I mean, we, we have to hope he doesn't have the. Strike back. Maybe, yeah. No yeah, we have to waiting for it right now. 
Do not use the pink. Don't use it. We might use it to thin the shield maidens out. It makes his Colgrim one point worse for what it's worth, but it might, it might be worth something. <laughs> oh boy, what's it gonna be, opponent? what's it gonna be, opponent? You either have it or you don't. That's a Roderick. Well, he has a Nero. Does he have a Nero? I don't think he has a Nero. Uh, he's a Roderick into a Rigo into another Mentor. Okay. You are not regretting this. Strike first and strike hard. So do we do it now or Do we do what now? The shield maiden trick. Shield maidens. So I don't think he's he has Colgrim in hand. If he doesn't have Colgrim in hand, if we hit our own shield maiden, we lose two points, but we gain four. So it's a net of plus two. If we kill this Vigo here, we gain two. But if he has our Gorthur Gavade, he also gains plus one on the Vigo. So I think we kill the Vigo here. We kill the Vigo and then play the the uh, self the the pingy location. guy. Yeah, or it doesn't matter. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, we can use the. So we go. Yeah, yeah, that's that's actually a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. Play it here. Yeah, put it next to the yeah right there right there. Oh, nice. <laughs> he knew. He knew. He knew. I hate that deck, man. I'm I'm not a fan. I love Nilfgaard, but that deck's dumb. Yeah, that was a, that was a good game. We took the baits. We, we would have lost otherwise. <laughs> the the uh, bleed part too, where he pinged, was incorrect. So yeah. Ooh, congregate. Oh boy, that's this is difficult. To pick up when I'm and we're going first. Game. I think going f actually no, we might lose on even going first. Okay, yeah, um, kick that, kick Harold as well, and let's see, gunning slash. Do we need gunning slash? Yeah, we could use gunning slash. I think you can kick the the warrior. Yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is not good. We have nothing proactive. We have we have raiders, but you usually like don't want to give them round control because you almost always lose in a long round. And yeah, we have to play raiders here. I was hoping for like ships and stuff, but right back row or front row, or it don't matter. Uh, with this hand, it doesn't really matter. The only thing you need to play around in this matchup is Tavern Ball. Everything else, you have no agency over. Okay, maybe it's not congregate. Oh, it's, it's crimes. crimes. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's crimes. Okay, we should be we should be favored, like more favored in this matchup. So we just um, punk that one, or do we need to save these? Uh, what what do we have? What do we have in deck? I'm thinking if you have to use bloody go here. Honestly, I don't hate. Uh, Do we need the slash for anything later? Uh, the horse and twins. Yeah, the horse and uh, spawns. Sure, sure, we can knock this guy out with a with a slash, I guess. It seems all right. So now he uses yeah, uh. Well, he, I, I imagine he wants to get his engines down. These things are going to be massive. Yeah, and a, oh, we got a Morkvarg, though. We have a Morkvarg and we have a Blue Boy. Um, so Blue Boy takes, what, like, three pings? Yeah, we can Blue Boy three pings. Put the Blue Boy to the left, uh, back row, back row. Yeah, put it back row. And ping it, then spend three liter charges. Come on, let's go. Time to face our fears. Blue Boy would probably be very useful later on, but he's gonna have a bunch of armor on the board I would wager soon enough, so 
And we don't want to lose this round on even. The way he's playing indicates that he wants to force us out right. on even. What? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so we could pass here if we wanted to, but I am genuinely not sure how this matchup goes in the long run for us. I know that we lose to Congregate Swarm, but okay, let's see. If we if we if we didn't want to pass, what would we play here? He has two engines on the board. We would probably have to play Bloody Go here. Bloody Go into. Um, what do we have? Um, what do we have on Bleed Blood Eagle? Uh, we have Hunters and... Well, yeah, we could... You could Blood Eagle into a Hunter. Lead the three, then just TA the... Hunter. Oh no, yeah, grab that one. My bad, but just, just shoot that one, yeah. And, and uh, Skull it, yeah. I think, I think we can stay a little bit more into this round. Hopefully he doesn't have a squirrel though. <laughs> I don't think he should be running it, but ah, uh, portal. But it, it, lists like this, they're just so greedy. Like the simplest methods yield the best results. Okay, so it's clear that he wants to play some crimes. Uh, his his uh, crown sp uh, the half link was seven, right? Mm -hmm. uh, is it is it base three? Uh, yeah, basically, yeah. so he has four crimes in his hand. Uh, He's all have Intimidate on him. Is this where we jump out? I just I have a feeling if we play one more card, we're going to get... So he has an Assault for nine. If we play a Raider for four, we're up. Yeah, we have to get out. Yeah, I was going to say, he's going to proc three times here. Yeah, if he, if he has an Assault, he gets it. And... I don't. I don't think we can come back. Catch up without playing Ceres. I do think that when we shouldn't be like awfully unfavored in the long round against this though. Although, let's say Morkfrog on Gord is pretty decent. I just feel like we're gonna lose our card. We might get a if he does have like what? Yeah, I mean that's good if he has to spend a leader charge. Um, was that really necessary? No. Four... Yeah, no. That played for seven, right? That... No, it, it, it also gave him one coin, so that played for eight. The Congregate Charge gives him a coin, right? Yeah. Did we drop the okay, Marauder? So, uh, Marauder... No, we could use it as a dry pass card. You could... You could drop the... Could drop the bear with her. but only one mulligan. Just take one mulligan. If it's a shield made, then we have to. Yeah, that's that's it. Well, I guess we see what we're up against now. The thing is, though, if he's playing the horse and twins, he can't proc them correctly. Immediately, yeah. Wait, what is this? It's a lackey. Did you run over? I am so confused. Like, what? I am so confused. <laughs> So he doesn't proc it, we just we just slap that with a uh, scored yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Like imagine playing Ulrich without devotion in a crime list, I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, that was that was strange. But well, let me guess you're not gonna proc this one either? To trade it. Yeah, of course not. Do we have a way to get it? We just go Blood Eagle? Or do we care though, because we have Morkvark? Yeah, we have Morkvark. So we just drop a Hunter and hold the charge? Let's see. Whoa. We could also play the Raider, set up something for the next round. But play it front row. Front row. Because of the tavern, tavern brawl yeah, shenanigans. He's gonna get Tavern Brawl value at some point, but we wanna minimize it as much as we can. Okay, that's that's a little scary. We can walk like one of them, but 
All right, so what do we have on in the deck? We have Harold and Labior. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, let's see. So we can't gutting slash any of these yet. He has two coins. We have to kill one of the twos before he transforms them with a horse on senior. Uh, so we just do that now? Yeah, we can kill one of them. We can kill one of the twos. And then you can play the hunter back row and take the ping on one of the sixes. What is it? We don't want to shoot the two though because we want to probably use that for a blood needle target. It's a waste of damage. Well, he's going to transform it, right? Oh. Okay. Or that, yeah. I mean, this is looking, yeah, I, this is my bad. I, I didn't think he was playing. Swap. Yeah, I didn't either, because he just. Yeah. It, it looked like just straight crime, so now we have to. Yeah, he just plays Ceres here, I think. You need to, you need to, like, not lose tempo, or else this guy's gonna do whatever he wants. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. He doesn't have the coins to use the lackey guy, which is nice. Um, so now he brings so out the one that. Oh, he. Yeah, but oh, he doesn't. He, he, he doesn't get both. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't yeah, get yeah, both, right? Yeah. I don't think he particularly cares either. I think we just immediately turned with this because we have to stay in reach. Turned me the six. Six, yeah. Put it to the put it to the left side of the skewer. Yeah, right there. We don't want to we don't want to want to kill the hunter and get ten more value at the same time. And we ping so, the cut up, huh? Uh. Sure. Yeah, we can be the cut up. It's gonna die here, right here anyway. But yeah makes the most sense. Do they, they, they don't really have a purifier, right? Unless he runs Kurt. They, they, I mean, I would be really surprised. Because Kurt doesn't even have Intimidate anymore. Triss, sure. Into what? The salt? Oh, bloody good fun. Okay, that's six damage. That's six damage that he decides to waste on a four-point card. Okay, fair enough. Um, just play the Marauder and high roll. If we play the Marauder, do we have reach? We always have reach with more quark, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we can play the Marauder. I'm just worried that if we hit the twos, he's gonna have that guy that transforms the twos, but he doesn't have any coins, so we should be fine, I think. Yeah, just, just. Uh, I mean, solid effort. <laughs> <laughs> But we have to keep in mind that we have Blood Eagle without Bloodthirst right now, so we can hit whatever we want. Right. Fifty-three. So he swarms the whole board. Yeah, this last card is probably DSI Ray. Um, we have to kill as many uh, tokens as we can. We have to take the um, Blood Eagle on one of the healthy twos. At the fire swarms. Yeah, in the back, yeah. So we go Blood Eagle into what? Uh, Raider, I would guess. I mean, I didn't do the math, I'm just hoping it's enough. They just, uh, oh shit, we don't have a... Oh, my bad. Uh, oh, we could just res one, I guess. Right? Oh, we have Bar of Clans, yeah, that's that's great, that's great. Yeah, do that, do that. <laughs> Reasons for the feeble of oh, heart. forgot about that completely. Yeah, this is fine, this is great. Kill the one, kill the one. Nice. Not bad. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We killed three tokens right there, it's really good. Yeah, I thought, I, for some reason I thought we had... Oh, he oh. went Justice! He doesn't even have a Dwarf on the board. Hello? What was this play? How? What? So <laughs> it's a three, right? Yeah, Do we get there with just Morgfarg? We no. might have to use the last leader charge as well, but yeah, let's play the Morkwark first. 
praying to your gods? They wouldn't dare cross me! Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna fuck. So close. Yeah, the leader is worthless. This, this is the... We'll be alright. I mean, he, he spent like pretty much his entire day here, so I think I think we should be fine. We, we kind of need to draw Harold though. We really need to. Yeah, we lost him in the. Well. Here we have to Morgan one of those. For sure. Um. I think you actually want to. Yeah, you will mulligan the ship, I think. Just play Grimace proactively if you have to. Oof. Yeah, I mean, that's that's better. I, I, I think this can still win, yeah, play Grimace. I really hope he plays unit here, though, because if he doesn't, we're kind of screwed. We just play the that's pingy, dude, right? Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, Ferco. Hey, that's that's perfectly fine. Doesn't do anything. Yeah, we just play this next to it and yeah, to the to the right of the grimace, yeah, or to the left doesn't matter. And kill the Ferco with the Witcher guy, uh, Bear yeah. Witcher. Nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good game, good game. Yeah, that bleed was that justice was horrible. We, we, we definitely made the wrong read, though. I mean, we couldn't have known, but if we knew that this guy's going to be playing Swarm, we should have we should have taken round one. Because yes. Corrugate kind of destroys this, like, in the long round three. You just don't have the points to compete. Yeah, and he didn't like, get the double horse in or anything, so that was just all yeah, around like, just incorrect. Like, but... what they do, what they do usually in Congregate is that they play... Um, Sacred Flames, and then they swarm the board like crazy, go full leader, and then press the Sacred Flames at the same time. So all of their tokens are at three strength right now, and your blue boy can't kill them anymore, right? Yeah, yeah it worked out pretty good. Mr. Yeah. Minwani, uh, thanks for hanging out, man. Appreciate you, sir, with all the the work you do at TOG, with all the number crunching you do. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Thanks for letting me. Absolutely, man. We'll have to get you on here again real soon. Um, like always, guys, thank you for watching. Um, make sure you check out uh, teamleviathangaming.com or it's TOG.GG now, right? You can just hit it that way now. For the, yeah, I believe so. For the NA spelling friends that can't uh, spell Leviathan. <laughs> <laughs> but um, like always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you next Monday for another episode of Ladder Leverage.